have a suit already. Early. <laughs> I know where we at, you know what I'm saying? Now you already know, man. Right now, man, we went out through the south side of Richmond, Virginia, man. With your boy Buggy the Don. I mean, Mr. Don Status himself. Don in my city. I mean, just to do me a shoot, me, nigga. In our community, right now, the way we feeling, we feeling helpless. So we, So a lot of our brothers and sisters lash out to let them know, like, no, you can't do this to me. But the problem comes in is when we go about it the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Like, the black community, I think integration was the biggest killer of the black community. We had our own, right? Mm -hmm. But we wanted integration because we wanted access to the educational dollars and the resources that they had in their community. We, we, we want that for ourselves too. We want to be equal just like y'all. But what it turned into is us wanting to be like them mm -hmm. instead of having access to the same resources as them. So you get this integration thing, and then now your kids are being bussed all around all over the place. You know, you, now we're allowed to move in to the, you know, they changed the housing laws. Now we can move in and be next door with, with um, Opie and his parents and stuff. And then you get the white flight. They move out. Then we move out to where they are. So before you know it, there is no such thing as the black community. You got the hood and you got the suburbs. Mean Green, man. Flip it quick. Goddamn, Mr. February. Our last name's 28. Everything, you know what I'm saying? We're in, in RVA, Richmond, Virginia, 804, right in the south, Howard and Enfield. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. Jets, I grew up around, grew up around this way. This is the Jets. Woo! This is my nigga Nuts, my nigga Frizzy. Yeah, yeah. Growing up out here, man, was, was not like it was not the easiest shit to do. You know what I mean? Cause one thing about Richmond, man, it's like niggas got the crab in the bucket syndrome. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas yeah, yeah. try to bring you down. Like niggas will hate on you when you doing something they ain't doing. You know what I mean? And they would be right beside you and be like your best motherfucking friend. But the whole time, like they want your motherfucking spot or your position and shit. And they cool with you so they can so they can get over on you some type of way to got them bring you back down to their level. People say Richmond crazy, you know what I mean? You come down here, this might happen. Richmond ain't crazy, I've been here all my life. It's mm -hmm. just, we don't take no shit, you feel me? Like, niggas out here getting smoked, they ain't dying for no reason, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. you do something to somebody, it's consequences, you feel me? And Richmond niggas, we don't play that, so you do something, it's gonna come back on you, you feel me? But for the most part, niggas trying to get some money. This is how I go in the city, right? Yeah. Check this right. Where you from, yeah. first of all? Man, where I'm from, I'm from the dirty, man. Yeah, Southside, yeah. RVA, you yeah. understand bow, what I'm saying? Bow. This is how I go down here, man. Niggas is 100, niggas always keep it a buck with each other, you know what I'm saying? But you got fuck niggas, fake niggas everywhere you go, right? So when you see them niggas, and them niggas ain't acting 100, my nigga, you treat them like you treat anybody else, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You give them the goddamn okie do. You understand what I'm saying? But what we doing, bro? We bought money, we bought family, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, At the end of the day, right. bro. And we bought this man in our business, man. Don't get it fucked up. Y'all hear a whole lot of shit about the city, a whole lot of grime and shit, but it's a whole lot of real niggas too. Yeah. You got grime and shit everywhere, man. Ain't that many ways I heard, like, support yourself and all of it? I mean, there's plenty of ways to get money, bro. You know what I mean? Like, it depends on who you is. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You holding the camera, that's how you get money. Mm -hmm. I rap, that's how I get money. Mm -hmm. You might be a nigga that's good at cutting grass. I mean, he get money, you know what I mean? But once a certain nigga get that type of money, he'll put in to a nigga that might cut grass or do this, cut hell, you know what I mean? Just, just whatever you want to do, you just got to go hard at it, you know what I mean? Don't let nothing stop you. But just it. rap, streets, job, whatever, college, just go hard at this. So you basically saying, ain't no need to complain, you know what I'm saying? Go out there and do it. Yeah, ain't no need to complain, you know what I mean? Whatever you want to do, you feel you good at, just go hard at that shit. It's only a matter of time before some results come through. Yeah, well, you know, you still got your hand for the niggas that still keep it the band. Mm -hmm. niggas still keep it the band and shit, but then you got niggas that just, they don't know how to do that. They was never embedded in them. They was never taught how to be real. Like, like this generation right now, you gotta understand, like, when I was growing up, there was a lot of OGs and vet niggas still around. Mm -hmm. Now that the new generation is growing up, a lot of them niggas is dead and locked up. Like, so there's nobody guiding these niggas. Mm -hmm. Nobody's nobody's got it. They listen to rap music and watch videos and they living their life off of that shit versus 
hounding somebody, be like, man, look, bro, no, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Like, nobody's teaching these niggas nothing, bro. Mm-hmm. Nobody's teaching them nothing. So it's like, can you blame me? Can you, can you blame some of young niggas? Cause you gotta blame some of the older niggas like me, too. But well, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It all started with niggas like me coming up under people that was teaching me shit. Now that the niggas gone, somebody gotta pick up the torch and pick up what they left off. City kind of slow, but you know, this where we from, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, mm-hmm. love you, we grew up at. It's a little slow city. Yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, speak on it, you It's fucked up. Nigga yeah. just killing each other tonight. Little niggas wild. You know what I'm saying? The only problem is these little niggas ain't got no no goddamn head, nigga. No big, no big home. No, OGs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, for real. Yeah. Poop, you know what I'm saying? Flip, that's one of my big homies. Mm-hmm. Real nigga, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Ain't nobody got no. They don't show these. It's like the niggas our age trying to be young niggas. That's the problem, man. Mm-hmm. Instead of showing these man. niggas how to do so, making these little my niggas do dumb shit. Yeah, it's just what it is, though. See, what well, you feel like, uh, why is that? Like, you feel like some influence people, like, some got niggas in, you know what I'm saying, they head it's and just, shit? It's just, it's just, it's just that ain't nobody stepping up, man. That's all. Ain't nobody stepping up. Yeah, yeah. Everybody against each other, man. All yeah, grew up in everybody the same wanna spot. be street and everybody ain't street. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my nigga would throw them hands. Mm-hmm. And if I would beef with you if I got my ass whooped, man. Should I see you later on that day or the next day? I can fight you again. Fight you 10, 15 times. That's how we got our respect out here. But these young niggas want to be third and think they can shoot like Curry, man. Yeah. Ain't no respawn on this shit, man. This ain't okay. Call of Duty, man. That shit ain't no game, dog. For real, man. I got niggas down right now, man. You know what I mean? Niggas dead and gone and shit, man. Shit real out here, man. For real. Little niggas thinking this shit shot rack, man. This shit rich, man. Well, to me, man, the street just changed a lot, man, because niggas don't know how to be their self. Like, niggas be suffering from identity crisis and shit. They want to be like the next nigga instead of, you know what I mean, sending their own friends and, and being with the fuck they was meant to be. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Even music-wise. Like the shit they doing this week, everything, all that shit. Like niggas is just not original. Niggas is just not themselves. And then niggas is kinda like that's a new like that's a new fad or something. Like I don't know what's going on. Back in the day, nigga, nigga was getting killed for that shit. I don't know who made that shit cool. They need to be killed. That's who need to be killed. Whoever made that shit shit cool need to be killed. Whatever you do, just go hard at it, you know what I mean? Don't let nothing get in the way. Stay focused, you know what I mean? Once you get to a certain level, it's gonna be niggas that start hating on you, you know what I mean? The same niggas you looked out for, just gotta keep going, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Don't let nothing stop you. I just came home last year, you know what I mean, for doing two years. Ain't nobody gave me nothing when I came home, you know what I feel? I came home, you know what I mean? Nowhere to go with two trash bags of clothes, you feel me? Mm-hmm. I just stayed focused with the rap, and now I'm back, you feel me? That's what's up. Can't yeah. give up. I couldn't easily say, fuck the music, you know what I mean? Just came out this bitch wildin', but I ain't do that. I stayed focused on what I know, and I know what I'm good at, so that's what I did. Yeah, yeah. So my message, just keep grinding, you know what I mean? Rich me real niggas, you know what I mean? You bought some money, we fuck with you. You bought some lost me shit, you know what I mean? You know what come with that. If we really want to get back to the basics, we have to rebuild our own community and really look at who's running the community and what do I mean by who's running the community? Who's controlling where those tax dollars are spent? Who's controlling those laws that are being made? Who speaks up for our community down at the General Assembly or wherever else that speaks to our interests for the things that we need to change to help us live a better life in our communities? And yes, you got to come back to the hood, brother. You got to come back to where it all started because we need you in the hood, bro. If it's more brothers that's out there to, you know, speaking to the young brothers that's taking the wrong path, then it won't sound like a nigga just preaching. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But what happens is, if I show up by myself and I'm down there, and I'm like, what's up, bro? Let me, let me tell you about this. Let me tell you about that. Then like, man, get this old preaching ass nigga out of here. Mm-hmm. But if you, if you see it everywhere you go and always around you, and that's just the natural way of the community, you, you can't go a block without without doing wrong and somebody telling you that you're doing wrong. Then the natural way of thinking 
starts to change because the strongest muscle you got is your mind. And it's like you could you it's like throwing a brother in jail, right? Mm -hmm. He go to jail, he got a felony. He get he get out of jail, it's very hard for him to get a job. So what is he going to do? He's going to do the first thing that comes natural to him. That's muscle memory. You feel me? So now he back out in the streets repeating the same cycle. The same cop probably going to arrest him. And now the brother's right back in jail with more numbers. You see what I'm saying? And the funny part about it is, bro, they don't lock up the dumb ones. They lock up the smart ones because the smart ones is the ones that can make that change. Mm -hmm. Or the smart ones is the ones that can move up under their nose and do what they need to do to make sure that certain money, right or wrong, can be funneled to help certain situations.